So being able to come out to a park like this, you know, and this is pre-COVID, obviously it'd be easier for me to approach someone, like say a mom and daughter walking in the park or a dad and son walking in the park. And I see them and I ask them their interest in ukulele. I ask them their interest of learning, you know, what Hawaii is known for. Well, some one thing that Hawaii is known for, and that's the ukulele. And what I'd like to do is have an ukulele that I can do that. I can walk up to people. It's ease of travel. It has a good sound that they, they can hear as I teach. And it's easy to pick up, throw on my back, and head out to a park, a beach, a shopping center, someplace that would have kids, a community center, and ask them, hey, are you interested in learning? Just to get that out there and just to kind of get a buzz in their heart of how easy ukulele is to play. A lot of people are kind of standoffish just because they're not musically talented. They might not want to try just because it's something new. They might be into sports. They might not have time for it. But I'm going to show how then they can rule out all of that stuff and be able to play ukulele with a few steps and the fact that it is that easy to play. So I needed an instructor's ukulele that will help me have the durability of mobility and stuff like that to go out into the community, but yet the sound that the student will be able to hear in an open environment as opposed to a controlled environment like a classroom. So this ukulele, we're hoping will do that for us. So we can tell already by the size of the box that it's on the thinner side when it comes to ukuleles. So now we're wondering, will that matter on sound quality, on sound, on volume quality? We want to make sure that volume is there because on an open place like this, as you can tell with all the wind noise going on, that the sound needs to be carried to the learner's ear. And if we have our pop-up lessons that we've done before in the parks and everything pre-COVID, we've done pop-up lessons, but we've had kids come up, grab ukuleles that are on the table, and I taught them a few things, quick five-step tips on how to start playing ukulele, how easy it is. Uh, so this ukulele needs to be able to carry out there so the students aren't like, wait, what, what should it sound like? So something like this, a very durable one, as opposed to grabbing a wooden one that you know will be more susceptible to elements. We're hoping that something like this could do the job for it. Now, opened up the box. This is the Enya Nova. So the case already is a little bit firmer than your standard gig case. It's hard, rigid, but soft, felt, and there's no like little accessories thing, which is totally fine. We don't need that. I mean, the most we can carry around is a tuner, but I usually throw that in my backpack along with the sheet music and everything like that. So it's thinner to ease of travel because if you're carrying a whole bunch of ukuleles like we do when we do our pop-up lessons in the parks, that is helpful a strap is always good as an instructor because if you just throw it on the side you can help the kids with their fingers you can help move get issue papers and bring it back you don't have to put it down or whatever but if you do hopefully these non-wooden ones are able to do that for us capos a capo comes with it as an instructor i probably wouldn't use it because i wouldn't be teaching kids yet to use a capo um, but in the event we do need one we have it and here are the strings so that's what comes in this nova kit of course with a user manual and other nova or other enyas that come as a catalog that you can read up in but we want to get to the main show of this unboxing and open up the enya nova You know, I've seen all these on the internet. I've never got to really look at them in person or feel it, but it's pretty. It's a very pretty instrument, you know, when it comes to ukulele, uh, guitars, it's one solid piece. If you look at that, there's no seams, neck doesn't attach separately, the head doesn't attach separately. It's one solid piece. The cool thing about this, because the way the sound hole is shaped with this feather sound hole they have a player's hole here which is good so you know what you're playing and that is key 
when you're instructing is to make sure that what the students hear are what exactly what you hear and what you are playing. Let's go ahead and tune this guy up. I just have a snark tuner. I didn't open up the Enya one yet. We'll just use this, tune it up, and we'll see how this guy plays. Easy to tune with these open gear tuners. Very easy to tune to our GCEA. Already as I strum it, I can hear the sound coming out of this. That's very cool to already know that it's there and I know how this ukulele is sounding. I'm not used to the thinner body. It takes some time getting used to. However, it does have strap already, uh, strap anchors for you to use um, if you need a strap or you would like to use strap or prefer straps, which I prefer straps, but don't use it on the regular. But let's go ahead and get a some strumming sound check to really see how the punch punchiness of this ukulele and the volume that it brings. It definitely sounds different than what I am used to. I've never played a carbon fiber ukulele before. The number one thing for me is uh, the ease of play. It's super fun and easy to strum. Uh, it's just quick. It, the way the action is on it and the way it's laid out as an ukulele, it's fun. It's easy. It's easy to play. Some, some ukuleles right out of the box are a little bit time breaking into, uh, but the way this one is, it's really good to just grab right out, strictly out of the box, tune it up, and be able to jam. Now sound, it doesn't give as much sound as a wooden big body tenor ukulele would give, um, but with the side port, at least you know you can hear what you are playing. And that right there is super useful uh, when it comes to, this would be really good at a gig, uh, performance, uh, maybe an advanced ukulele player would wanna play something like this, um, they have an acoustic electric version where you can plug in and you do the whole dials and that right there would be key for a very nice intimate gig um, The design of it the eye the eye candy of it is to me the best feature of it The way it looks uh, is something you don't see especially in Hawaii. We don't have things like this um, That are just at your local guitar store ukulele store or the ukulele luthiers make something like this They don't but another great thing about it being carbon fiber is the durability of it taking it out on the road taking it to the beach and being able to play with it um, is not gonna ruin it as wood would wood would as wood could <laughs> should wood could um, but this carbon fiber would definitely be durable for me to take it does have a radius back which is really cool um, and it does help with the projection of the sound giving it more room in the body to warm up creates a warmer sound because of the carbon fiber there's not too much flexibility as wood could do on a sound but uh because of the radius back that does help warm it up just a tad um as a player you know i, I try to slide down here and um get into playing those really high octave stuff um Every ukulele is different. This one I found the fret bars to be a little bit, a little bit too high for uh, really getting in there and being able to, you know, tear it up and shred, you know, and move. You, you gotta really precisely make sure your fingers go in there. What I'm saying is the fret bars are not forgiving. Um, know what you're doing. Be able to place your finger directly in the middle of these fret bars, and then you will get a very crisp sound. Um, but it's a little bit high for my number one likings, um, but it still does the job. Does it do the full job as it would a bigger body? Maybe not, but it's totally different. It's apples and oranges. It's an ukulele, but it has its own unique sound, its own unique flavor when it comes to looking. I think the best part of it is the way this thing looks. It's eye candy. 
it gets people's attention and they definitely want to come out and learn if i do a pop-up lesson in the park like this they're like what is that is that an ukulele is that a guitar what is that and it is definitely a catching point where i can let them know what kind of ukuleles are out there not just the wood not just your traditional pineapple shape uh and not just your typical looking ukuleles so there you go guys the crazy part about this review is we did two. It's both of the same brand. It's on the Enya. It's an unboxing. It was a different video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it, what you guys think the two different sounds sound like, and how you guys feel about the different styles of these ukuleles. Now, the crazy part is this is looks like a traditional ukulele with the pineapple shape, the koa, uh, uh, the koa designs on, on the laminates, and it really looks like it, but it's not. It's a, it's a sleeper. It's a good, durable ukulele. Uh, wood ukuleles are very durable as it is, but this is high pressure laminate. And then this, it just looks absolutely on the other end of the spectrum when it comes to looks of a traditional ukulele. It doesn't look anything like a traditional. This looks exactly like it, how they used to make it back in the day. 12 fret, um, neck to body, pineapple shape, wood. It looks just like it. This looks nothing like it, but it's cool. It's super cool. It's really cool. So guys, if you guys really like that video, let us know by clicking the like button, subscribing to our channel, checking out more play alongs, more ukulele reviews, unboxing, and what else is going on in the Alpai community. And we thank you. Supporters like you help grow this channel a lot. If you guys find any of this worth the value, would love to hear your gratitude by going over to ukuleleprojecthawaii.com, clicking on that donate button and letting us know that you support Ukulele Project Hawaii and our mission. And that's to get ukuleles like these and these in the hands of our keiki across the state. Mahalo, aloha, and God bless.